she picked this item up at a thrift store for $2 and she took a best offer of $750. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about some big money bolos. I am featuring an eBay store and I'm going to tell you where they got the item, what they paid for it and what it sold for. So this is basically a what sold video, but these aren't things that I have sourced. These are things that it's all good. 94 has sold and she is a bolo finder wait until you see some of the cool items that she sells this is her ebay store i will link it down below in the description oh you guys remember i did a video on these um talking about parting it out and that's what she did she parts stuff out as well she has a really unique different store definitely go and look at the items she has listed it will definitely teach you about some different things to look for she is also over on whatnot as it's all goods 94 as well so go and give her a follow over there as well if you guys are not on whatnot you can use my referral link down below and get 15 dollars to shop when you join with that link so Get the $15, go buy something to resell or buy yourself a nice treat and see if you like it. It's super, super fun. And if you want to sell on whatnot, I also have a referral link for that as well. So join with the buyer's link so that you get the $15 and then come back and apply with my seller's link. And that will tell them that I referred you to sell on their platform. So it's kind of just a way that you may get accepted quicker. I've had a lot of people tell me they got accepted very quickly when they used my referral link. So those links are down below. But let's dig into some big money bolos. All right, so the first item we're gonna start with is one that is just unexpected. So I sent her a list of items that I wanted her to send me information on and I saw this and I was like, I have got to share this because no way would I have ever picked this up. I mean, I don't think I would have. I guess I can't say for sure, but they're empty cookie boxes from McDonald's. Yep, I said that, empty cookie boxes. Now these would probably be a little bit of a pain to ship. I wonder if you can flatten them out. Flattening them out would be nice, but I'm not so sure that might damage them. So not a big money bolo, but definitely unexpected. She said, Found online on high bid, bought a lot of 40 boxes, sold them off in sets of four, paid 20 for all 40 boxes, sold this set for best offer of 14 plus shipping and have sold all 40 boxes. She's sold out. Can you believe it? Cookie boxes, empty cookie boxes from McDonald's. That's cool. This one's really cool also. Barbie loves McDonald's playset picnic table found at a local thrift store whole bag of Barbie's McDonald's accessories paid 20 decided to part it out sold one piece for full asking price of $24.99 so you can see right here this is just the bench the picnic table $24.99 plus shipping here is the replacement sign $14.99 the cash register right here she said she took let's see $14.99 plus shipping on the cash register. So, hmm, that's weird. Maybe it's a different one, but it says $14.99 plus shipping. So I see 11 with it crossed out. So maybe she was thinking of this one. And then I'm not sure what this one sold for. She may have had them mixed up. Disney Dumbo Timothy Mouse Mini Snow Globe Retired. And this one right here... She got it a garage sale. All things Disney have so many globes paid $4 and sold for full asking price of $39.99. And you can see a little bit of the water is missing from the top. Probably some evaporation there. She's got a picture of the bottom. This originally retailed for $12. This is a Def Leppard Hysteria a LP original 1987 first press Mercury inner sleeve vinyl picks. Now, I don't know what any of that means. So she does have a picture of the vinyl. Maybe that's what it means. And you can see the condition 
Always smart to include photos of that. She got this at a garage sale for $1 and sold it for full asking price of $44. And she said it sold quickly. The next is this Stife Teddy Bear. It's mohair. Anything mohair, definitely look it up. Uh, there's other bears that are mohair that can do really well that are not Stife. So if you see the mohair, look it up. Stife is a great brand. This is one of the newer tags, I believe. Um, let me see right here. I don't think this one's as old. Oh, it says 1981. Right there. There's your tag. But they do vary. Some of the Stife go for crazy, crazy money, like the really, really old ones. So if you see a Stife, look it up. And if it's cheap, just grab it and run. All right. This one she got at the Goodwill for $4 and sold it for full asking price of $42 plus shipping. The next item I couldn't get to pull up. So this is the screenshot you're going to get. It is a Super Scrabble game. She found it at a church rummage sale, paid $5 for it, and sold it for full asking price of $39.99 plus shipping. Um, one little tip that I like to give out when I'm talking about board games is you can see here the shipping is $11.65. I like to put my board games, I like to cross post them over to Poshmark because Poshmark has that flat rate shipping and if it's under five pounds. So it's going to be cheaper for this item to ship over on Poshmark. So definitely something to consider. I do have a referral link down below. If you use that to join Poshmark, you're going to get $10 to shop. Also have Mercari down there. You'll get $10 to shop on Mercari and another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff on Mercari. So those links are down below if you want to join those other platforms. This is an Orbitz 90s Lava Lamp Soda bought online for 20 for three bottles, sold one bottle for full asking price of $49.99 plus the buyer paid shipping. So I'm not really, it says that it's a lava lamp. Huh. So... How do you heat it up? How does it work? Oh my gosh, it was originally $1.19. That is awesome. That is so cool. Okay, Titanic Towel Beach 90s Elite Brand Promotional Towel in Plastic Bag. She got this at a collector's garage sale and paid $5 for it and sold it for $45 plus shipping. The next item are these Bay Blades. She said she found at a local thrift store for $20, two big bags full. They're selling well individually, parted out, sold two for best offer of 24 plus shipping. So this is something I always pick up when I see them. And do you want to know what they do? They go into my money pile pretty much because... I don't know anything about them and I don't want to sell them in bulk because I know some of them are worth money. So uh, what's another thing that I do this with? Uh, the Bionicles, the Lego Bionicles, the ones that I have a whole box full that are incomplete. And I know some of the masks sell for a lot of money and they're sitting somewhere in my money pile. I don't know. So they'll just sit there. They'll become more vintage and more rare and more hard to find and be worth more by the time I list them. That's what I tell myself. It makes me feel better about my money pile. So here are some of the Bay Blades that she has sold. And uh, I guess maybe Google image search would work. I'm not really sure. If you guys don't have Google image search, I do have a video that tells you how to use it. It's called just type in Bolo Buddies Google Lens and it will pull that up. It's a free app that helps you research items by taking a picture and it will identify your item that way. It's fantastic. It's a great resource for resellers and it is free. Easy Bake Kitchen 2000s found at the Salvation Army for $6, sold for full asking price of $54.99. Yeah, this is a bolo that I've heard about over and over again. I don't know. I feel like I've passed them by even though I know they're a bolo. I don't know why, but uh, let me know in the comments, have you ever sold an Easy Bake Kitchen? Have you ever used one? Like, how does it work? How does it work? I want to know. All right, here we go. Uh, this is a role-playing adventure game. And let's see, she got this at Savers, I think is a thrift store, for five bucks. It was like new content, sold for asking price of $69.99. And that is what it looks like. So she opened it up. She showed what was included. She showed the condition. All very important things for collectors. Polly Pocket 1993 Cozy Kitties Pink Heart Compact Bluebird. So this is by Bluebird. 
Bluebird is what you are looking for, but this one has all the little accessories included. I don't know if these are original to this Polly Pocket or not, but you can see here it says Bluebird. If you see that, look it up. She got this at a garage sale on a bulk lot of small toys for $5 and sold it for a best offer of $52. Department 56 North Pole Santa Little Cake Sweet Shop series whatever retired and she got this at savers and she paid five dollars for it found uh let's see items like new found with another one next to it on a shelf paid five dollars and sold for a best offer of 78 plus shipping this is an old school 1980s bmx huffy thunder road four bicycle number plate it's a bike plate how cool is that Garage sale lady gave it to her for free. She had so much good stuff clearing her mom's house out. Sold for a best offer of 50 plus shipping. Gotta love free. Fisher Price Flip Track Mountain 1995 playset original box. And this one she got at the Goodwill for $9.99. She got it home and it had two complete sets in it. So score. She thought it was good, but it was really good when she got home. Uh, let's see. Color was half off of... So paid $5, sold for a best offer of 80 plus shipping. And I think she has the other one still listed. Royal Hager Brown Green Mid-Century Large Vase Ear Drip. I don't know how to say that. Glaze, 18 and a half inches. Ah, nightmare to ship. Um, that's what I say about that. And she got this at a church sale for, she paid five to 10. She can't remember. Sold very quickly for $89.99 plus shipping. The next item is another Department 56, and this is the other one I think she got at Savers. This one was brand new, $6, and sold it for $75 plus shipping, received positive feedback. Breakables always make me nervous. I hear you, girl. I hear you. This one here is absolutely crazy. George S. Irving, Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark, Rare Vinyl Record, New Sealed. Sold for a best offer of $750. And she picked this up at a thrift store for $2. Super score. And the last one is this vintage Scream Ghost Face Mask. Fun World Division, Gen 1, Gen 2. Not sure which one. Fantastic Faces, 90s. And it says see pics. So the person buying this is going to know if it's a Gen 1 or a Gen 2. She says garage sale $1 turns out to be a Gen 2 sold for a best offer of $350. So let me know down in the comments which bolo was your favorite. Did you know about these? Have you sold any of these? I've sold some scream masks. I've also made some mistakes in my early reselling years when I didn't really know about the scream masks. So be careful with those because um, I have undersold some, but I have also sold some for big money. So they are definitely a bolo if you can find those old ones and check out some YouTube videos. They will teach you what to look for. It'll tell you how to know if it's a gen one, a gen two, just type it into YouTube. Um, I've went and like when I found them, I've searched videos to try to figure it out. It is complicated. You know, it's the shape of the eyes. It's the dimple like in the chin, the things on the bottom. There's just different things that help you know which generation it is. And if you list it without a generation, somebody's more than likely going to message you and say, hey, this is what it is. And also, one thing I've noticed when I sell them is there's a lot of non-paying buyers. So if you do an auction, kind of expect a non-payment. Um, if you get paid, awesome. You're lucky. Uh, I, I feel like one of them I had went really, really high and they didn't pay. And I'm like, ah, and then it happened again. And I'm like, ah, and then it finally sold. So they do end up selling. They are highly collectible. People want them, but people do play around with sellers, I think, on those. Let me know if you've experienced the same thing when you've sold a scream mask. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Again, it's all goods. 19, um, 94, I almost said 1994. Hold on, let me pull it up. It's all goods 94 on eBay. I will link that down below. And then also, like I said, she's on whatnot. Go give her a follow over there. She's just starting out. She's sold 293 things. So go show her some love with a follow. Be sure to click on the heart and follow her eBay store also. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching.